the Duke has launched a legal battle against the UK's Home Office in a bid to be able to pay for police security for himself and his family while in Britain. Prince Harry stepped down from royal duties two years ago and now resides in California with Meghan and the two children Lilibet and Archie. As a non-working member of the royal family his police protection was removed. The statement from Harry's lawyers contained the claim it is unsafe for him and his family to visit the UK without police protection. The request for police protection has raised the possibility that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their family may be planning a return to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this year. Prince Harry has stated he is willing to pay for the protection himself rather than lump the bill on British taxpayers. Now, lawyers acting for Prince Harry wrote a pre-action protocol letter to Home Office, indicating they'll seek judicial review if police security ISNT provided by the UK government. The legal case could develop into a costly dispute in the High Court between government ministers and the Duke of Sussex. The action over Prince Harry's police protection is reportedly the first time in history a member of the royal family has sought to bring a legal case against Her Majesty's government. Lawyers for the Duke of Sussex stated Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remained sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. The Duke first offered to pay personally for UK police protection for himself and his family in January of 2020 at Sandringham. That offer was dismissed. He remains willing to cover the cost of security, as not to impose on the British taxpayer. As is widely known, others who have left public office and have an inherent threat risk receive police protection at no cost to them. The goal for Prince Harry has been simple, to ensure the safety of himself and his family while in the UK so his children can know his home country. During his last visit to the UK in July, to unveil a statue in honour of his late mother, his security was compromised due to the absence of police protection, whilst leaving a charity event. After another attempt at negotiations was also rejected, he sought a judicial review in September 2021 to challenge the decision-making behind the security procedures, in the hopes that this could be re-evaluated for the obvious and necessary protection required. The UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in with the lack of police protection, comes too great a personal risk. Prince Harry hopes that his petition after close to two years of pleas for security in the UK, will resolve this situation. It is due to a leak in a UK tabloid, with surreptitious timing, we feel it necessary to release a statement setting the facts straight.